Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to schedule slides in the Divi Slider module or the Divi Carousel Maker. And you can schedule those slides to show or hide based on time. So for example, maybe you have a sale or a discount, maybe a Black Friday sale or some other, you know, any kind of sale like that and you want to show or hide a slider based on that condition or any other condition, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple, and we're just using um, the Divi Conditions feature. So here I went ahead and just added a slider module and then a full width slider. Um, whichever one you have you know, should work the same. So I'm just gonna go in here and open up the settings. I'll click the gear icon, and then go into one of the individual slides. So in fact, let's, um, let's name this so that I know which one. Let's just, in fact, let's just call it a um, Black Friday deal or something. And so the idea here is that you would have like um, some kind of advertised item that only shows on your website on this day, right? You know, um, so we'll just say buy today only, something like that. So, but how would we, you know, how would we do that? Well, you could come in here and create that slide. You could click add new slide and you could design it and set it all up, you know, at midnight or in the early morning of the day or whatever. And then you could try to remember to, you know, <laughs> remove it, delete it later. Um, but that would be crazy. So instead, let's just open up the individual slide, go to the advanced tab right here and under conditions. Right here, we can add conditions. Let me show you, I'm actually following along a tu written tutorial. So you can follow along there, I have screenshots. So not that not that we really need them, but I'm just saying if, if you want more of a reader. So let's, let's add a condition. So add condition, this screen pops up. All kinds of nice conditions here. This, this feature is amazing in Divi. But the one I'm looking for is just date and time, you know, for this kind of thing. So date and time, and now I know that Black Friday this year in 2023 when I'm recording it is the 24th of November. So, oh, that's, I gotta choose this option. Display only if, now that's important, display only if current date. And then what I was doing there is if I was saying on a specific date, like I was just picking there, that's what I want there. So I want is a specific date, so that means the slide will only display on November 24th. All right, and so I can just click the checkbox. And then um, when I hover over here, it'll actually give you a little like preview. Um, let me do a different one, and I'll just go in here for this one. So let's say I want it, let's say I have a seven day sale. So I'll go to the conditions again and add a condition. I'll choose date and time. And is after, let's say I might, let's say my sale starts, you know, at Thanksgiving on midnight here. So if it's after the 23rd at midnight, but I want it to end too, right? So I just add another condition. That's how, that's how you handle that. So this one only displays after that, but then that would continue to display after that. By the way, when it says only display after, that means it won't be displaying before, so. If I add another condition and use date and time again, this time I'll choose is before. So we chose is after, now is before. So it's like we're setting the cutoff times. Let's choose like Saturday the second. That way it goes from Friday to Friday. And then when you hover here, it gives you a little display. And they display after you know November 23rd and before December 2nd. So it will display within that time, that date range. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, there are other um, conditions that you could choose. So even if we were continuing with date and time, there's, um, like I showed you, is after and before a specific date is not a specific date, so you could have something that hides on specific dates. And you could, you could do these multiple times. So if I had two dates, I could actually choose is a specific date and then add another condition is a specific date and do the next date, you know. 
There's also is a specific day of the week, and then it gives me these. So if it, there's something that only happens maybe on the weekend, I can choose that, you know, or, or whatever. Um, the first day of the month, like if you have a slide, it's like, you know, I don't know, take 25% off first day of the month and you have a coupon code here or something, you know, I don't know. Or the last day of the month, you want to say something. So that's how you would do that. And so if I were to exit, um, in fact, let's see, because I, I have three slides in each of these. So one should be hidden in each because this one, yep, this one only has two. The one that said Black Friday sale is only going to display on that date. And the same with this one. So I have two, even though there's a, another one in there. It's really nice. You don't have to actually worry about deleting the slide and trying to create it in a hurry. And yeah, it would be it would be annoying to do it that way. So now you can go ahead and plan this weeks or months ahead of your sales. Now, we also can do the exact same thing with our Divi Carousel Maker. And this is actually what prompted me to make this tutorial. A customer asked, they were like, hey, how could I schedule a slide? And I was like, I thought about it, I was like, oh, well, a slide is a module or a section or a row, so just use the Divi conditions. And I checked and I was so excited that it just worked perfectly in the carousel. So, um, I don't know. Let's pretend our blurbs here are slides. Um, we'll just add some and we will do the exact same thing. I'll come in here. In fact, let's just say whatever. You can, I'm just using that as an example, but let's say my condition is that I, I only want this to display on that date. So I'll do the same thing, choose the date and then what is on a specific date and then choose that. And so watch what happens here. I'll enable the carousel, go into the column, and enable the carousel. So we're gonna use all the default settings here for that. Actually change my mind there. Let's, let's do um, number of slides. Let's change that to one so that it makes more of a wide, although it's not going to be wide because I'm using, <laughs> I'm using a, the worst module for being wide. So if I view it now, it'll just be in the middle, but that's okay. So we only have three. Notice the one for Black Friday isn't here. Okay, so that, it's that simple then, and that would show or hide based on any of those criteria. That's pretty cool. So now you can run your sales and promotions or yeah, whatever it is that you need to schedule and you can do that with the individual slides or you know, in the slider module or in the carousel maker. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did do all the things, you know, liking the video tells us that you liked it. Um, it tells YouTube that you liked it and it tells YouTube that, hey, um, people like you like Divi things like this. <laughs> and so um, your interactions with YouTube, of course, tickle the algorithm for us and we appreciate that. So, all right, we'll see you all in our next video.